So for myeloma patients, um, even though our insurance company, sometimes we have to um, argue with them a little bit as if we're beating down doors to get a bone marrow biopsy. You know, nobody loves those. I'm not sure why insurance companies, you know, think we would actually want that. But um, you see in the future, I know there's talk about mass spectrometry. Every myeloma patient would love to hear the words, you'll never have to have another bone marrow biopsy. Do you see a future in that in some of these newer tests that are coming out? Sure. I think that's absolutely important to know because, yes, that's the bane of our existence. Unfortunately, the disease primarily lives inside the bone marrow. So to get the true information, that's where you go. So there are some tests that are being developed or researched. Uh, patients may have heard about what's been termed the liquid biopsy or taking a blood sample to identify plasma cells or disease. There's a lot of research going on around it, but unfortunately it has not panned out yet because by nature, plasma cells do not circulate in the blood. Or if they circulate, it's a very, very small amount. So it's hard to pick it up from the blood and do the tests on it. But there's a lot of research going on for it to get the plasma cells, get the fish testing and all the genetic testing from the blood. So stay tuned, hopefully we'll get in that direction. What you also mentioned, a test that's been developed and done at Mayo Clinic is what's called mass spec or um, looking at these proteins, these M spikes, these light chains, the IgGs, IgAs, et cetera, looking at them at a molecular level and separating them based on their weight. Because IgG kappa, for example, from one patient may be different from the IgG kappa from a different patient, but they can be separated out based on the weight, based on the molecular weight, the size. <clears throat> and that can sometimes be used, that's how the test has been developed, to use that property to identify and almost catalog and tabulate and follow that patient's protein so that we can hopefully collect uh, or, or detect a recurrence sooner, note a deeper response to the treatment, and in the future, hopefully, use that depth of response and that earlier recurrence as a, or, or earlier detection of the protein as a surrogate of bone marrow recurrence. I still think that it's two different things. One is to look at the protein and note it at a deeper level to note whether the patients responded or relapsing. But so far, if we want to do those mutation testing, the fish testing, and look at some other characteristics of the myeloma, unfortunately, we do have to go to the bone marrow. But down the road, I'm hoping that those liquid biopsies and the blood tests will hopefully make it happen. Well, that would be music to my ears. Even fewer biopsies would be great. So <laughs> that would be awesome.